Hello, I'm Pastor Scott Meyer. My family is here at Okoboji Lutheran Bible Camp for a Boji Family Getaway. We've been involved with the camp and coming here for over 20 years. Just love the camp setting for having a renewal, a retreat, uh, coming closer to God in this setting. I'm part of uh, sharing the Daily Dose today and I would like to share with you a little bit from Romans chapter 8 just the first two verses. But let me first tell you, when I was a little Scotty, I occasionally got in trouble. Um, I can remember occasions like um, uh, tussling over a toy, arguments about a television show, you know, whether I wanted to watch Hogan's Heroes and my sister wanted to watch something else, or stealing chocolate chip cookies. I often got in trouble for that. Well, occasionally my mother would say, uh, go to your room, and wait until your father gets home. Uh, then I knew I was for sure in bad trouble. Um, I knew I was in trouble because of what my mother said to me. But when I did go to my room, oftentimes thinking about it, sitting in the chair, I really felt badly. I felt a sense of guilt. That's what I would call it today. Um, and when later got an opportunity to leave, I apologized. And I think that sense of guilt and that sense of apology is, is a recognition of uh, God's Spirit working within me. And it speaks directly to what's being said here in this verse in Romans chapter 8 verse 1. It says, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. So we can live in a sense of guilt and shame and just keep trying to be better and keep trying to be good. And that's the law of sin and death that works in us. And we'll never be good enough and never achieve enough and often feel inadequate and not worthy. But if we have been set free by Christ, then how gold is this verse? Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Not condemned, saved, loved. 